Overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to the latest episode of News Weekly. We've got a big mix of different news this week, so let's jump into stories about free games, E3 and the biggest gaming studio acquisition ever, plus much much more. So let's get into it. I never like to keep you waiting for this week's free game, so as always, let's kick off the episode with what you can add to your library on the Epic Game Store this week. Epic is giving everyone a free copy of Galactic Civilizations 3, and this strategy game allows you to conquer the cosmos with your choice of a futuristic alien race. There are different planets, starships, and each time you play is unique thanks to the huge number of customizable options. The Out of This World game has some great reviews, so it should provide hours of entertainment. Plus, with online PvP or co-op, there's the option to either play against or with your friends. Galactic Civilizations 3 first came out in 2015, however it still retails for around £30, so it's well worth adding to your library for free. And if you really enjoy the unique gameplay, Galactic Civilizations is currently available to buy as an early access title with brand new features and in-depth options. Make sure to grab this deal before it ends on the 20th of January. Our next gaming story this week is that E3, the annual Electronic Entertainment Expo, will once again take place exclusively online in 2022. The organisers ESA said it's returning to a digital E3 format and is not going to hold an in-person event. Unsurprisingly, they said that it's due to the ongoing health risks surrounding COVID-19 and its potential impact on the safety of exhibitors and attendees. However, they do remain incredibly excited about the future of E3 and they're looking forward to announcing more details soon. So that's it, no further details were released, but I do think that it's safe to say that E3 is going to be taking place online sometime during the summer of 2022. It's the second year in a row that it's been made a digital only event after the 2020 Expo was cancelled entirely. And I must admit, I do find online events rather appealing. It offers free access for absolutely everyone to check out what game developers, hardware manufacturers and software developers have been working on. You get hours and hours of content and live streams to watch and take part in, and I think that E3 2021 was actually handled pretty well across the various platforms and the online portal. However, Jeff Keighley's Summer Game Festival did sort of steal the show last year. In regards as to why E3 have already announced this, it's likely due to the huge commitment organising an in-person event is. Overclockers have attended many events, so we know that it often takes months of planning and organisation to put a booth together. And it's likely that E3 don't really want to risk a ton of money if the world happens to end back in another lockdown. If you're hoping to attend an in-person event this year, check out the UK's Insomnia Gaming Festival, which is already selling tickets to its spring i68 event this coming April. Our next story is a surprise announcement and possibly one of the biggest ever in the modern gaming industry. The video game company Take-Two Interactive, who already own Rockstar and 2K, said on Monday that it's going to buy mobile game developer Zynga. Zynga's many games include Farmville, Words with Friends and Team Blast. And if you include everything under the Zynga umbrella, it attracts over 168 million monthly users and made $706 million in revenue last quarter. That makes it easier to understand why the deal with Take-Two is worth a whopping $12.7 billion, making it one of the biggest acquisitions in gaming ever. Now we know where all those shark card dollars have gone to. When speaking about the deal, Zynga's CEO said, we begin a new journey which will allow us to create even better games, reach larger audiences and achieve significant growth as a leader in the next era of gaming. Together, the companies will have 8,000 mobile and console game developers to put to work on upcoming games. This means that as a team, they can more easily compete with large gaming companies such as Activision Blizzard and EA, which have grown their studios massively over the past few years on all gaming platforms. 
Take Two will now own a huge chunk of the console, PC, and mobile gaming market, and it cements them as one of the largest publishers of mobile games when that type of easily accessible smartphone gaming is only going in one direction. I do wonder what a Farmville slash Grand Theft Auto crossover game might look like. Kicking off the hardware chapter of the news this week is a story I genuinely never expected to hear more about, but the update, originally reported by video cards, is so interesting I couldn't skip over it. You might have heard that back in October 2021, a shipment of EVGA RTX 30 series GPUs was stolen. In a movie style heist, an entire truckload full of EVGA's precious cards were stolen from the company's central distribution center. At the time, EVGA issued a statement that confirmed the theft and revealed several cards with a value between $330 and $2,000 were in the missing shipment. It was expected that they could pop up in online marketplaces such as Craigslist, Facebook, eBay, etc. However, instead of the cards reappearing in the US, as we all expected, or even sold off to miners, they've actually been shipped 8,000 miles away and have been found for sale at a retailer in Vietnam. The discovery was made when customers who bought the cards attempted to check their warranty status online. They then found out that EVGA had listed their GPU serial numbers registered as part of the stolen shipment. At the moment, it's hard to determine if the retailer knew where these cards had come from or if they were just happy to get discounted GPUs without asking too many questions. Supposedly, the cards were sold as open box units and they were sold actually with a reduced one month warranty and with a lower than usual price. This could be a way of disguising where they came from. However, customers who received these cards said they were originally advertised as 100% new and sealed by the same retailer. Sus. In an official statement, the retailer NCPC said that they were just victims and they did not have any prior notice about the shipment. However, they have contacted the supplier who said they would take all responsibility for the incident and that they're gonna withdraw the VGA batch. It's very likely that many customers unknowingly bought these cards thinking that they just got a super sweet GPU deal without knowing that they've actually bought stolen goods. Hopefully the 10% increase in GPU shipments predicted throughout 2022 kicks in soon and people won't have to turn to less honorable sources to get that boost in FPS. Our final hardware story this week is ideal if you're looking to upgrade your PlayStation 5 with more internal storage. Seagate are giving away a PlayStation Store gift card when you purchase one of their qualifying Firecuda gaming drives. The benefits of using an M.2 SSD instead of a USB extended storage drive with the PlayStation 5 is that new games are playable, downloadable and updatable. It works just like the included internal drive. The console comes with just 825 gigabytes of internal storage, and that's really not much space for games, apps, and saved game data. This means that despite the excellent compression technology, you can only really install around six to 10 big titles. The Firecuda 530 SSD is a great choice to increase your available space, and it comes with a high quality EK heatsink which actually meets the PS5 requirements and ensures peak performance even when confined inside your console. If you go for the one terabyte option, which retails for $189.95, that will get you a 20 pound gift card, which is enough for Doom Eternal, which is currently on sale, The Last Stand Aftermath, Among Us, and the Godfall Challenger Edition. The two terabyte capacity drive is available for $349.99 and it gets you 30 pounds worth of credit, which can be exchanged for games like Subnautica, Greedful, Hot Wheels Unleashed, and The Falconer. Finally, if you wanna go all out, the four terabyte drive retails for $819.95 and it gets you a 60 pound voucher, which means you can buy Dirt 5, It Takes Two, Guardians of the Galaxy, or Far Cry 6. It's super easy to claim your reward or say, simply place your order on the Overclockers website before the 31st of January, then upload your receipt to the Seagate website and your gift card details will be emailed to you within 30 days of a validated claim. If you're worried about the actual process of installing your drive, don't worry, it's so easy that even I can do it. 
and you can watch our Overclockers Academy video to find out how. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be attending any events this year or you'd rather prefer to watch everything online. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming videos and I'll catch you in the next one.